It is currently Sunday, July 15th, 526 p.m. On Sunday, June 24th, I experienced some sleep turbulence. I slept from about 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. And um, so that's that. On Monday, June 25th, I went to Krispy Kreme early in the morning. I was able to get up pretty early in the morning in an attempt to reset my sleep. And I had gotten into the habit of eating uh, donuts for breakfast. So that was part of the reason I went to Krispy Kreme. I spent a lot of time there uh, reading and uh, catching up on my journal. Later in the evening, I met up with my friend Katie and she gave me a tarot reading. I asked the cards if I would ever get married and their answer was somewhat along the lines of what I had already suspected. Um, the cards were pretty skeptical of me ever getting married. On Tuesday, June 26th, it was pretty uneventful, so I probably could have just skipped that day. On Wednesday, June 27th, um, this was a very special day for me. There's this hole in our living room floor, and we had somehow succeeded in reaching this this point, this particular point in time, uh, and not dropping anything down this hole. But I was trying to repair my laptop, and the tip that goes into the back of the laptop I was taping it and uh, then I was trying to take it back off and it slipped from my hand, hit the grate and fell down into this deep hole. So I took the grate off, I got a big stick and I was digging around down there. Um, you know, I built this contraption. Um, my roommate's boyfriend, Donovan, he helped out a little bit, uh, but at a certain point he got skeptical that it was even down there. Um, we looked around on the carpet to see if it had hit the grate and bounced off, but that was the only place that it could really be. Um, so I, you know, I picked up my efforts and I dug down there some more. I scooped some stuff out, you know, all this crap. Um, surprised it didn't make me sick. Um, I had gone down into the basement to see if there was a way for me to get into the pipe from the bottom. Um, but there there really wasn't. It was a big pipe. I was also trying to see if it would support my weight so I could actually stand in the pipe, but I didn't think it was. Um, so I went, I went back down again, and I could tell that there was this little gap at the bottom of the pipe. Um, I could see light from the living room uh, coming through that hole in the pipe, and then I looked on the uh, basement floor, and I found that, that Donovan was right. Uh, that part wasn't actually in the pipe. It had slipped through that small hole at the bottom and it was actually on the floor of my basement. So uh, that hole went down. I won. I fixed my laptop and now I don't have to pay however many dollars for that part. Uh, that night, a friend of mine told me to try out Tylenol PM and I found that you can just get the, uh, the medicine by itself. It's over the counter. Di diphenhydramine hydrochloride. Uh, so that night I started taking that and it seems to have worked pretty well. On Thursday, June 28th, I got to the atheism discussion group late. I, I was tinkering around with some things and forgot about it like I knew I would because not a whole lot is going on. Um, I talked to them about Lionel Tiger's book that I'm reading on pleasure and hit these crazy things that he is extrapolating on the on the basis of uh, sociobiology's kind of evolutionary psychological approach to human behavior. The first wonky thing that he says, he asks this rhetorical question about why fireplaces are so popular, and then he explains the popularity of fireplaces by saying that it harkens back to our early evolutionary experience of discovering fire and the comfort that that brought. And then to step it up a notch, he says, uh, you know, why is tobacco so popular? Um, and again, he relies on this explanation of, of fire. He says that that's, that's the key to why tobacco is so popular. And, and 
posits that, um, you know, unlike some other drugs, uh, tobacco is the one drug that is not consumed in any other form other than being lit, which is actually false since people do dip tobacco. I'm not sure why he missed that. Uh, then there's another funny part where he asks why humans after going to the cities are now going to the suburbs. And he does, you know, mention that he's aware of economic reasons for this, but he says that uh, clearly the, the most obvious answer is that the suburbs um, also harken back to our er the conditions that we were living in in our early um, evolution of our species as humans. Uh, as he puts it, uh, Savannah, Georgia is much like uh, the Savannah in Africa. Later on that evening, I saw The, the Prestige, uh, which was a great, great movie, much better than The Illusionist. On Friday, June 29th, I finished Pan's Labyrinth, which was just kind of okay. Uh, later, I went to Dog and Suds with Hubert and Donovan, and the Journal and Courier gave me a call out of nowhere to ask me about blogging. They asked me about Vikram Booty, who was uh, charged with making death threats about the president, and I, I succeeded in getting into the paper my notion of blogs being virtually private because of the work you have to put in to find them. And I, I also said that I try to write as if everyone is reading um, or now looking at what it is I produce. Uh, later that evening, I watched Children of Men, which was a good movie. It was uh, almost too depressing for me to finish it at a few points. I, I think that I identified with the experiences of the immigrants for some reason. On Saturday, June 30th, I made some pot roast in the slow cooker. It turned out okay. I watched all the Flawed Monsters video podcasts, which was really encouraging. It's really inspiring to see the work that they're doing and to see things that people are doing with this new media and seeing new possibilities uh, for art, basically. I really feel like I'm uh, seeing you know, this groundbreaking um, work being done. It was also great to have some insight into their creative process. On Sunday, July 1st, I went to IHOP with Hubert. It was our final IHOP. We used to go to IHOP every Sunday last year, so it was kind of um, in celebration of that former tradition. One of our colleagues saw us with some books there and uh, was surprised that we were reading on a Sunday, and so we found that pretty humorous. On Monday, July 2nd, I watched Idiocracy. This is also a great movie. Um, there's a line that Hubert keeps saying that was pretty great from the movie, Welcome to Costco, I love you. Uh, there were just some really great touches in the movie. It's I can't think of any examples off the top of my head but there were just all these really small things that were quite brilliant, um, especially when you put them all together. I talked to Carolyn later that evening. She's working at an animal hospital. Uh, one of the funny things that she said is that her mom saw that she was looking at GPS units on the computer and asked if she was involved in terrorism. On Tuesday, uh, July 3rd, I went to Cadoba for Heather Lee's birthday and talked about movies with her friends. And I went to movie night uh, with some of the people from the English department and watched Schizopolis, which was uh, produced and directed by um, Soderbergh. It was this very surrealist, absurd movie. It's quite wonderful. On Wednesday, July 4th, um, I went to a party with strangers because I didn't really feel like talking that much. So I got to listen to them talk about themselves. It was very interesting to see how narcissistic um, they were about their department, but I, I guess that's really how graduate students are kind of in general. I didn't see any fireworks, but there was a woman there uh, dressed like the Statue of Liberty, and so I figured that counted. On Thursday, July 5th, Angie came to town. We went to the Lafayette Museum of Art and was really surprised to see some, uh, some good pieces there. Um, we watched Sicko, and that made me very depressed about America. And then we went to Chick-fil-A for dinner. On Friday, July 6th, I finished Gosling's 1969 book, Pleasure and Desire, The Case for Hedonism Reviewed. I took a long nap, and then I watched Black Snake Moan, uh, which was good, or rather seeing Christina Ricci was good. I also watched Breach because Carolyn had this strange experience watching the film. It, it was pretty interesting, but I don't think it's really the kind of movie that I'm into. And then because of my nap, my sleep got all screwed up. And finally, on Saturday, uh, July 7th, uh, late in the evening, I went to Sergeant Preston's with 
Hubert, Donovan, Megan, and Joe, and we had a discussion about Sicko. Uh, Hubert and Donovan, uh, actually, they'd all just seen it uh, just before we met up. Um, so it was all on our minds, and we talked about it a little bit, talked about the possibilities of socialized medicine. And Joe was very critical of Americans, uh, arguing that they, uh, that they need to be educated in thinking independently and I argued back that that in and of itself is not enough because you can still have independent critical thinkers who are conservative because of their values. And I argued that really what we have to have is um, for Americans to, um, to leave some of their individualist values and embrace uh, more socialist values where they care about their fellow humans.